and it plays a significant role in uh, shaping public perceptions on a variety of issues. According to this site, uh, a good photographer, good photographer should be creative, reliable, meet deadlines, motivated, confident, have technical skills, be organised and patient, understand and interpret clients' needs, and have good communication. And it's important areas of photography, in all photography um, needed to make good impressions on like clients and employees. And so. um, getting into the industry, uh, various magazines normally have advertised things like um, vacancies, and they can be found on the websites and stuff as well. Um, it's like British Journal of Photography, the ALP, uh, quite good. Um, um, being an assistant is quite a good way of getting into the media industry because it helps you like um, build up contacts, um, uh, develop skills, gain experience, and build up your portfolio and your CV. And the internet is a powerful tool, it's a massive part of the media industry and having your own website is a good way of marketing yourself and it can also um, show off your computer skills and your creativity for making yourself. Um, there's a few like uh, web screens for people. Um, what makes a good website? Um, a strong clean design, it should be easy to navigate through with like, not a lot of fuss um, on it. Um, bold, make a statement, a bold menu, strong colours that complement your images, a structured layout because it keeps everything organised and it just looks better. Um, high quality images that are clear and easy to view. And these are a few like, examples of like, some nice ones.
just did. And Sunday newspapers. So there's a big market of newspapers you can apply for, you probably won't even get that half of them will apply back, but it's worth trying for. Is this the one? Yeah. Your photo and journal aspects. You have to be there for example, astronaut photographers on the moon. The image needs to be a visual aid to confrontation, confirm alongside the text. Symbolism showing drama at the time, for example, two Elton boys outside Law Cricket Ground in 1937, only from Gigan. That was just a famous photograph that made it into a paper, um, just by some photo. Yeah, so basically you've just got to be there. It's been some cases, make yourself accessible. And I don't think they know. <laughs> um, my, my, my section is more about looking for the work and actually applying for it. Um, we're looking for a job in a specific group where photography is completely in your hands. Without willpower, the dreams of working in photography are very limited. There are hundreds of ways to find a suitable job within the specific area you practice in. The question is, where do you find them and how do you go about applying them? Where do you look? As we've discussed, newspapers, magazines, internet, photography studios, literally in the street, we sometimes have um, internships or work placements advertised uh, in the local newspapers or, as I've seen, actually in the windows mm -hmm. in Carlisle. Um, you just have to look basically. Working with fashion. I guess I'm kind of going more about where I want to go. I want to work in fashion. Um, a lot of people believe that to work in the fashion industry is more of a fluke than a found job. This is not so. All fashion magazines advertise internships and apprenticeships every year. Every year for ex students like we will be to apply for to apply for and gain experience in the industry. It's literally you've just got to apply. Vogue advertising places on the website or sometimes inside the magazines. I'll work closely with Vogue and also advertise throughout their web page or magazines. There's a couple of different places that um, I've noticed different internships or work placements advertised. So I've kind of gone through it. It kind of, most of the pages, if, you, if you're looking on the internet, let's take for an example, and you're on a page like Vogue or L or Heat or whatever, um, most of them will direct you to where the job's actually advertised. So most of the time you'll find that it's, it is like the website that we found earlier where you have to pay a monthly subscription because obviously the people that are really looking for the jobs will probably have someone that's looking for them. These are a couple of the websites that actually advertise just a couple of different things like ASOS, Heat and L. They all give regular internships and experiences and they give you everything. Um, the main thing is to contact them first and then they will guide you through what they want and what they're expecting. It's like that site there over at the top right hand corner. That was one that was like directed from a different website to like a website that literally listed all the jobs going in the fashion industry and what criteria you must meet and what like what they are literally looking for and what you need. Because most of them, obviously if you're wanting a career in fashion or career in um, a job, they will ask for at least a degree.